The analog DAC allows you to connect a Mega SG or Super NT to a CRT TV via component, S video, composite, or RGB with zero lag and in the console's exact original timing. Was it worth the wait? Let's check out this prototype and find out. The Super NT and Mega SG by Analog are hardware-based FPGA emulation platforms that offer extreme accuracy care of the cores by legendary coder Kevin Horton, also known as Kevtris. The Super NT is a Super Nintendo and Super Famicom, and the Mega SG is a Sega Genesis and Mega Drive, and both have additional functionality once jailbroken, which I'll come back to in a moment. First teased over a year ago, the DAC, or Digital to Analog Converter, allows the hitherto HDMI-only analog Super NT and Mega SGs to connect to analog monitors like CRT TVs and PVMs. It accomplishes this by switching the consoles into a mode that feeds data from the HDMI port, allowing the DAC to bypass internal scalers and produce analog video with zero lag. This gives your analog consoles true lag-free video output to CRT monitors in the console's exact original refresh rates. Speedrunners and lightgun fans will not be disappointed. The DAC supports several analog video standards through custom cables, and it has a switch for NTSC or PAL modes. It does component, S-video, composite, and glorious RGB video, which looks stunning on a CRT monitor like my Sony PVM2030. There are several RGB modes, such as 75 ohm C-Sync, Sync on Green, and so on. The DAC is designed to be compatible with monoprice VGA cables, which adapt the D-Sub-15 pinout to whatever cable you need, like the SCART cable that I'll be using for this review, borrowed from my mister. A firmware update on the console enables the new DAC auto detection. Speaking of firmwares, I oversee the release of the custom jailbreak firmwares on GitHub. They flash exactly like stock firmwares, and once installed, allow you to load ROMs through the SD card slot, eliminating the need for a flash cart. But the jailbreaks do a lot more than just that. The Super NTs also add support for special chip games, and the Mega SGs unlocks a host of new features like custom Sega CD BIOS loading, and new cores for ColecoVision, Game Gear, Sega Master System and SG-1000, and a lot more. You can also easily update the firmware on the DAC itself by connecting it to a computer or phone using the included USB cable. It will recognize the device as a storage drive, and you simply copy the firmware to it, unplug, and then power it back on, and it'll take about a second to update. There's no word on pricing yet, and we haven't seen the final shell, but from my testing, the DAC looks like it's going to be another great analog product, and probably a must-buy for those wanting to get a true CRT experience out of their Super NT, Mega SG, and future analog consoles. Music